Roberto in with you. From Ingmar, just underway. <clears throat> I'm genuinely really excited to be here today. It's always good to come out to this gym. The sense of community you get out here is always really wonderful. It is, and, and they're running out of wall room with all the championships over to our <laughs> we right. We were talking about that earlier. It's quite literally one entire section of the gym. Nice block there at the net. Looked like Rebecca Ball, number 11. Just a culture of winning. We'll talk about it a little bit more during the varsity game. But there are several girls on Ingemar's varsity team with three or four championships because they just go back and forth between the two sports winning. <clears throat> Peyton Ray reached up and hit that one. Probably was going out of bounds. It'll be a point for South Pontotoc. That one's going to go long. And South Pontotoc getting close and then giving the ball away. It's the second time that's happened already. See if they can put a little run together. That's That'll help. Yep, that was in. Get a little bit of equal, uh, equal share of attention there. Opportunity here to get in their offense. To McClarty in the middle. And there's a big kill for Lexi McClarty. Good job of just powering that one down. See the way she was able to swing her arm for that one. But it worked out well for the Cougars. Shannon comes in to serve. We see her serve in the varsity match. But she doesn't stay in and play any other positions very much so this gets some good junior varsity action for her you know and that's that's really what it's for just building up your skills in a competitive environment big hit that goes out <laughs> nearly nailed our flag girl in the back here that's an easy drive from here that one goes long and they give it right back we appreciate richard schwartz and associates we'll try to get you those breaks on when we do a side out and a service change, give us a little chance to, to get those in here. And you've been raving about the studio they've helped contribute to. Oh, yeah. It's been really, really nice. The new podcast, Magnolia Fields. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We'd love to check us out. Shannon digs that one out. Opportunity here for the Lady Cougars. Nice attack, a big but a block. big block right in the middle. We'll be getting some more sustained rallies deeper into the set. Looks like both teams have settled down a little bit. Wow. To the floor. It's Haley Moore again with a phenomenal dig just to prolong that. Or excuse me, some of the middle school junior high kids <laughs> kicking their feet on the wood over here. That's one of my favorite things about volleyball is the team spirit. Two good serves by Emma Walls. That was a good serve there. Yeah, it's just difficult to handle. Got too close to the net. Couldn't dig it out of there. Not a good serve. Just forcing them to react, putting them in uncomfortable situations. It's the next best thing you can do after an ace. Big swing there off the net. Another big swing. Nice touch by McClarty. Not quite sure if that was her hand or the ball there that hit the top of the net. And there it is, set number one. Do you think they... Do you think they stormed through that season last year? Yeah, I know they won it last year. Talking about storming through that season, we'll talk about it a little bit later during the varsity game. Still undefeated, the Falcons. 16-0. and 0. Just... And you know this JV team wants to keep up with them. Oh, absolutely. There's some pressure here. You know, nice you, set. You get freshmen, you get sophomores, you can get eighth graders coming into it whose only goal is to compete, right? You see the girls ahead of you, and you want to be at their level, and it really sharpens the entire experience. Big rally going on. As both teams really digging in for this first point. Right to the middle. Good job that time by number six, Haley Moore. She There's that left-handed serve. It always looks like a knuckleball to me. Somehow the Falcons kept that one alive. I don't think Moore expected dig. that. Rivers Ashley just gets all the way down to keep that one going. Trying to push it over the oh. defender's head. Probably an ill-advised touch there. Just misplays that one a little bit. Looks like Madison Griggs. Do this. this is something. We're a good team. They may be the total lead. Another good serve. An ace by Haley Moore. That one's going to drift out. 
it's not just length. You have to have an understanding of where the misdirection is coming from. Is the middle hitter going to hit it? Is the outside hitter going to do it? And then timing it perfectly off the hand. Ready to serve. Lady Cougars went quick on that one. Lady Falcons handle it. Chance here to set up to the middle to McClarty. She may have touched the net that time. 23 Mia Hauser back to serve. Big swing right into the top of the net. <laughs> oh. Nice touch. Haley Moore. Gotta love the neon shoes, by the way. Brightest shoes in the court today. And hey, you know, you get a couple straight points on the serve. Another good ball from Grisham. More from the outside. And she's been playing in the middle. They have her listed on the roster as an outside hitter. Junior varsity volleyball action. Actually, been really quality for these junior varsity girls. Well, this is the one you want on the line. Moore had a mm -hmm. really good turn at serve earlier in this set. A little bit of sugar on her face there. Falcons. Big hit. Oh, mishandled at the net, and there it is. There's your second set goes to the Lady Cougars. Hauser, the lefty. Start things off for South Palmatar. She went on a tear in the middle of the second set. Moore just trying to place that one in the back. No real chance to get in their offense for Ingemar. Here's an opportunity. Go on the attack. There's the bump. There's That's the set to the middle. Yeah, just not a well-hit ball there. Just under it instead of over it. Wasn't able to drive, get a lot of power into it. Hauser chases it. Does a nice job getting it to the net. See, there's the Falcons struggled a little bit with communication in the second half. Watching players come in, yell, claim the ball authoritatively. That's really good for them. And I can get that one across. So the first point goes to South Pontotoc. Reminder, this is a best of three in the junior varsity action. So both teams trying to settle into a rhythm here in the all-important third set. Chance here for the Lady Cougars. There's the bump. There's the set to the outside. Didn't put a lot on it. Good hands by the Lady Falcons. Yeah, that was a good job of elevating that one. Chance here for Ingemar to the back set. Good ball. That was. Ace for Ashley. That was a big one there for Rivers. Ashley, third set. South Palm Rock, the Cougars need to get it going now. Now she had the chance to set that one up for her outside hitter. Nice little touch over the blockers. And talked about it a little bit earlier. One of the one of the reasons I'm such a big fan is such an excellent opportunity for particularly basketball it is. players to be in shape at this time of year. Sure you don't have to tell the Ingemar Falcons anything about. Looked like that one came off her head. To the corner, outside. Sun shining in her eyes as she tried to jump there. Somehow they got it to go over. Gonna say she hit it twice or carried it. Playing to 15. Which they did do in the middle of the second set. Definitely not impossible for that. Good job getting in the system there. And yeah. it pays off of the point. Hardly <laughs> putting a ride on that one. Some miscommunication with the Falcons. Survive it to the outside. A little push. It's the second one there. It looks like the back line just not, you know, not calling to each other as well as they need to. A lot of times. That was a good effort right there. In this situation, you'll see the teams get a little more conservative. Mm -hmm. Quick going for the big kill. Let's just 
get it over and see if the other team will make a mistake Force like make that. A mistake like that, exactly. One away now for the Falcons claiming this JV match. You don't have to do anything fancy right here when you've got a 14 to 4 lead and a exactly. 15 point set. Make them make the mistake. Well, you know, it's because of an 0 2 pitch. Don't want to put that one in the zone. Don't want to give them a chance to do something with it. Right to the middle of the floor. Big effort there from Ashley. But the Cougars. On life support, but still kicking right there before she hits the ball. That was a good one. Had a little bit of spin on it. And there it is. Lady Falcons come back to win set number three.